FSW fans live in attendance at the FSW Arena. And those watching on the FSW Network, we've reached tonight's main event. Well, here comes Cutthroat Cody. A man who has been on a journey since day one in FSW. To have people look at him the way they look at the men who have held the FSW championship, about the men who have headlined FSW events. And, he, and he's done that. But the one thing he's never done, despite the countless main events in FSW, despite being a No Limits champion and a tag team champion, he has never held the FSW Heavyweight Championship. He's been called FSW's heart and soul for a reason. champion for more days than anyone in FSW history. Over 900 days, his three combined reigns. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the FSW Heavyweight Championship! <laughs> Introducing first the challenger, hailing from Las Vegas, weighing in at 202 pounds. He is one half of the Without a Cause Tag Team Champions, representing Death Proof. This is Cut through Cody Hancock! As much of a fan favorite Hammerstone is, Cut through Cody, the epitome of FSW. And his opponent, from Phoenix, Arizona, Weighing in at 255 pounds, he is the reigning and defending FSW Heavyweight Champion, Hammerstone! I'll tell you what, there's no doubt that Cutthroat Cody is going to be the people's choice tonight. You know, Cody brought it up. As soon as this match was announced, as soon as Cody stepped up to fill the void of the, for the challenger tonight, uh, people were calling him an underdog. He said he's not an underdog. He's a pit bull tonight, and he wants to put Hammerstone's title reign to sleep. And we are ready. Main event time. Hammerstone and Cutthroat Cody. Mutual respect of each other's abilities, of their accomplishments. But there's one accomplished Hammerstone has that Cody wants on his resume. 
As we've talked about some of the big victories, a guy like Hammerstone, he's defeated Impact Champion New Sammy Callahan. Killer Cross. Eli Drake. List goes on and on for Hammerstone. That's right, Graves. Holds a victory over Chris Bay. But look at the focus in both men. Hammerstone, despite what Cody put out there, what he said in that interview that was blasted all over social media, Hammerstone never responded. Almost like he was getting a feel for what the fans were expecting in the matchup. It's like he didn't want to let his guard down. He didn't want to play his cards ahead of this matchup to the public. And the theme of the night, Rookie of the Year, both of these men are former FSW Rookie of the Years. Both cash in the case winners in the past. And Hammerstone with the hammer lock. Cody got that big neck of Hammerstone in a cravat. Well, where your head goes, your body goes, and Cody knows that. Just about a year and a half ago, two years ago, the size difference in this match would have been even more immense than it is now. But Cody has packed on a lot of muscle. He's taken the gym as seriously as he's taken the sport of wrestling. And he's even said it. It's because of men like Hammerstone he's done that. Look at this, Cody, one of the best on the mat. And I just looked over, I didn't notice him, but MK, Manager of Toko Russo was supposed to be here tonight managing Toa Leona. And it looks like he's out here uh, scouting Hammerstone. Yeah, MK's got a front row ticket, great. You can tell him to stay home. Well, he pays cash. You don't discriminate against oh. idiots. Cody not gonna be intimidated by Hammerstone, not gonna be thrown around by the champion. You know, when they met, as Cody said, he was 150 pounds. And this is a different man. And Cody brings him down. It looks like he's gone for the Anaconda Vice. He, got, does he, have, he has it locked in, the Anaconda Vice. But Hammerstone using those massive legs to break the hold and save himself. And Cody driving the knee to the midsection. Out goes Hammerstone. Sends the champion to the outside. Cody, suicide dive. And he stays on him, too. And I'll tell you what. Looks like MK's applauding uh, the efforts of Cutthroat Cody. Well, he's had his issues with Cody, too. Going back to no escape. I guess to him, Hammer, uh, Cody's the, the lesser of two evils. I guess so, and Cody is sending up top. We're gonna put his body at risk. Try and beat Hammerstone. And your elbow landing like that from that height is not good news. And he eats the clothesline from Hammerstone. And you never know, that could be the beginning of the end. You make a big mistake like that against Hammerstone, you are gonna pay. Yeah, how many times have we seen it? Somebody just makes one mistake against Hammerstone and it just takes one shot, like that clothesline, like this, for him to string together some offense and put you away. And Cody, though, he's never going to give up. He's going to keep fighting until his body gives out. But with the way his body just hit those buckles, the impact, the force, drove him back down to the mat. Because Hammerstone, with his strength, can throw you in the corner harder than anybody. And right now, that mistake has been proven costly for Cutthroat Cody. As it right now it is all Hammerstone with a big clothesline once again sending Cody crashing to the mat. And now he's just looking over the challenger. Hammerstone knows what the fans want tonight. 
they want to see a new champion. And great off by his ear. Hammerstone's main focus is to accumulate as many titles as he can. Keep growing that trophy case. And unfortunately, Cody's gonna be just another victor for Hammerstone if Hammer has his way. Fall away slam and Cody goes to the outside to regroup. Which is what he needs to do after missing that big elbow that has been all Hammerstone. Oh, Cody though. Lures in the champion, traps him in the apron. Hammerstone trapped in between the apron and the ring. Slowly crawling back of the ring after those skip shots out of Cody who decides he's got to deliver more against the champion. Oh, and this it could be new champion. Looks like a double underhook stunted pile driver. By Cody to Hammerstone. Cody didn't want to waste any time and try and get Hammerstone back up. And that's what Cody's gonna have to do. Cody is one of the hardest strikers in FSW, but Hammerstone's right there with him. And Cody getting the elbow up. Oh, and look at this, he is caught. Overhead belly to belly suplex. And once again, one move, one move by Hammerstone changes the course of this match. And Cody trying to get to his feet very slowly as Hammerstone is sitting and ready. And he's got him up again. And another one. Cody's body landed awkwardly. I'm not sure if the cameras picked that up. But it was the type of landing that'll just drive the wind out of you. And you combine that with the force, Cody's in a lot of trouble. And Hammerstone was going for the third one, but Cody stops it. German suplex. Didn't stop that one. Yeah. So many, so many times he could stop Hammerstone, but never completely, but Cody. Psyched himself up somehow. Able to absorb that last German suplex. Manhattan drop. And Cody. This could be it, we could have a new champ. Doesn't get him, but gets the near fall. And now Cody knows what kind of physical state Hammerstone's in. As he is fired up, and Hammerstone in big trouble. And that crossface submission, the arm is trapped, the neck is being wrenched, and the shoulder. A lot of force to it, but Hammerstone, this is big frame to break that. Heart first into the buckle, goes Cody. Burning hammer. And Hammerstone, you know when he brings out the burning hammer, he thinks his challenger has a shot at beating him. He busted it out against Brian Cage. But because of positioning, Cody able to get his foot on the ropes and this title match lives on. And right now, Hammerstone's getting him up. Looks like he's trying to set up for the nightmare pendulum. He's trying to, but Cody knows what he's setting up for and he knows he can't let Hammerstone hit that. Oh, and he dropped the knee right to the side of the head on Hammerstone. Cody fighting it off. Massive shots. Cody goes behind, drags Hammerstone. Bounce off the ropes. Now Cody go for that ambulance chaser. And the ref gets taken out. Cody hits the ambulance chaser. 
But there's no official. And what is this, MK, what is he doing? He's got a death proof shirt on. What the hell? Is, is he telling, I mean, he's been trying to get that title off Amberstone since February of last year. He's the man who cost death proof the tag titles six weeks ago. And now he wants Cody to go back to his old ways. Is Cody gonna do it though? Is this how Cody wants to get everything he's ever dreamed about in FSW? No, it's not. And Cody told MK what he thought about. Well, MK's like a Scooby-Doo villain. All his plans get thwarted. But Cutthroat Cody, too worried about the referee. Hammerstone from behind. Oh, and this has got to be it. One, two. You can't kill what's already dead, but Cutthroat Cody tonight won't die. The fans are feeling it. They're feeling there's going to be a change at the top of the FSW mountain. But not if this happens. Inside cradle. Satellite into the crossface. A move he used plenty of times to retain when he was a no limits champion. And Cody has got him in position. There's nowhere for Hammerstone to go. He is trying to maneuver. I'm not sure he knows where he is. He is still in the middle of the ring. And it looks like he is trying to get to the ropes. Trying to will himself to the ropes to force Cody to break the hold. And look at that, Cody wouldn't break it, but he got there with his feet. And Cody didn't want to break the hold. Couldn't believe Hammerstone was able to get to the ropes. And it looks like the emotion is getting to Cody. It looks like he has tears in his eyes. He thought it was time. The opportunity was there, and he was going to become the heavyweight champion. But Hammerstone would not give up. This is everything he ever wanted, was to just get the shot at the title. And now it's within reach. And now Hammerstone questioning the challenger. Is he really bringing everything he has? And Hammer said, you brought it all and I ain't tapping. And that big European uppercut. And these guys are throwing bombs in the middle of the ring. Big headbutt. Hammerstone wanted Cody's best. And he's getting it back and forth. We got a slugfest. And look at this, Cody down, but he gets right back up. The fight that we have seen from him an FSW original, 12 years, Cutthroat Cody, part of FSW. And this is his opportunity of a lifetime. But Hammerstone caught him right in the heart. That kick, release, power bomb. Is Hammerstone, no! Well, not yet, at least he's not gonna enter the Mecca with that title. And another release, power bomb. And Hammerstone, he is in shock. He cannot believe that Cody keeps kicking out. He can't believe it, but the people in the crowd, the fans watching at home, have always believed in Cody. Come 
Summers telling him, stay down. And this is usually the death now, the nightmare pendulum. Your winner and still FSW heavyweight champion, Hammerstone! And MK is shocked, shaking his head in dismay. This guy will do anything to get that title off Hammerstone. Do anything to get the title off Hammerstone, but can anyone get the title off Hammerstone? What is MK thinking? I don't know what he's thinking, but what Hammerstone is thinking is he just had one of his toughest title defenses of, his, of this third reign, this record-setting reign. I'll tell you what, MK acted talking tough without that back of a Toka Uso next to him. Look, he can buy a lot of a lot of things, but I don't think he can buy his way out of this. Almost decapitated him. I feel like MK's head almost fell before the rest of his body. Looks like they're deciding what they want to do to MK. Obviously, that clothesline wasn't enough. Well, I guess they're bonding over what to do to MK. MK has a couple of similar traits to Linda McMahon, let's be honest. Call tonight, put him in your submission, Cody. But what a hell of a title match that was. Cutthroat Cody at a couple points, looked like he was finally gonna win the FSW hey, hey, heavyweight hey, hey, title. Hey, 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 hey. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Last year, the only thing I wanted to prove is that I can go with anybody. Win, lose, or draw, you let me go with somebody tonight. With those heartfelt speeches, he's the, uh, the new Teddy Hart. He is, but both times he earned those. Heartfelt speeches. And that is gonna wrap it up for us tonight. A big high octane Hammerstone and Jay Vidal retain their titles as we get ready for Mecca 7, Friday, February 4th at the Silver Nugget where it all began for future stars of wrestling. Killer Cross, Scarlett Bordeaux, TJP, Davey Richards, Hammerstone, Brian Cage, special guest ring.